Hey guys, this is November of 2023 and I'm showing you this video today because I've been trying to do this for two days and that is download my Amazon Music into an MP3 format on my desktop so therefore I can drag the music to where I want as a file and then in this example on my computer I am editing a video here on iMovie so therefore I want to add the song and the music into iMovie. However, there's been uh, a lot of information on the internet that will tell you that you can go on to Amazon and click here on music and then click on music and then all the different videos that I've seen in the last several days, you click on uh, your purchased music and it'll show here what music you've purchased which is great right because if you've purchased a song then you can go here and you can download the song on your computer however the problem is you can't purchase the you cannot purchase music on Amazon music so this is what the issue is so the only way to actually do it is I want to show you here again what the issue is so you go to music for example and everybody says, yes, it's great, no big deal. So let me go to my playlist, for example. And I'm going to go here to my Christmas playlist. So I have my Christmas playlist. I am an Amazon subscriber. And now I want to, for example, go and download this song, Jingle Bell Rock. Now, or I want to purchase the song. And why do I want to purchase this song? Because I want to download it onto my computer in an MP3 format. So let's see if I can purchase the song. Unfortunately, there's no way to purchase the song. So on Amazon Music, on the web browser, you have no, ab no ability to purchase a song whatsoever, whether you're a subscriber or not on this web player. So this is how you have to do it. I'm going to open up my other tab here, and you'll see the difference. So here, for example, is Jingle Bell Rock. And you can see there's no option to purchase this song. Okay. I'm going to go to my Amazon. Now here, notice I'm not in the player. So do not open the web player. Just search for the music you want in the Amazon Prime digital music section. So for example, I'm on Amazon Prime. You go here to digital music, select digital music, and then type in what you're looking for. In this example, I'm clicking Let It Snow Instrumental Music. So I click here to search for it, and you'll see it will show here. Then what I can do is I can open it up. Now notice here it says, or 99 cents to buy MP3, or I can listen. Now you can only purchase, remember, from this browser window you cannot open the web app and do this purchase that's where the issue lies so here I'm going to open this album and now you can see for example if I wanted to what was the song I wanted to purchase Jingle Bell Rock right so now I'm going to go back over here and I'm looking for Jingle Bell Rock and look at what happens when I click here on the browser it's saying that I have the option to buy the song, right? Now, this is for Jingle Ball Rock. I have the option to buy the song. Let's go back to my other, and I want to show you how this works. So here is my web player app. That's just anybody can open this on the web version. And you can see... Uh, Jingle Bell Rock and Jingle Bell Rock. Now, if I go to my purchased music, you'll see I do not have Jingle Bell Rock in here. Right? I only have Let It Slow, Let It Snow. Therefore, I can go here and I can actually download the song. But because I don't have Jingle Bell Rock in here, I can't download the song and there's no way to purchase the song on here so it just leads you in a big circle for days so back to the Amazon browser okay and now for example here Jingle Bell Rock I am gonna go here click here I'm gonna buy the song 
not the album. I'm just buying the song. Okay, so purchase the song. I'm going to pay for it now. And I'm going to download it now. Now I'm going to take Jingle Bell Rock and I'm going to drag the file onto my computer desktop now. You see how this works? So now on this particular computer, I am working with an iMac, a MacBook Pro. Okay? Shouldn't matter if it's a Mac desktop or a MacBook Pro or a MacBook Air. It should be all the same thing. Now again, this is 2023 in November. So at this point in time, I just downloaded Jingle Bell Rock on my desktop. Now I'm going to show you how I add Jingle Bell Rock into the music. Remember, it's no longer iTunes anymore. There's no such thing as iTunes on a MacBook or on a uh, Mac desktop anymore. They changed it to music. So I open my music app. You can see here I go to my music app. I created a playlist on my music app. On my, on my on my device here I created a file and then I I, um, I created a new playlist okay so I created a new playlist called Christmas party and now what I can do here is I can go like this and I can pull and drag it right into this new playlist. Now I could also drag it into songs if I wanted to, just as you see it's here also. So you don't have to create a playlist. You can just drag it, for example, right into songs if you wanted to. But now that it's here in a playlist on my music, on my Apple Music, I have these two songs, Let It Snow and Jingle Bell Rock. Now let's go back to my iMovie now and see what happens. So now when I have my media here on my iMovie, I'm editing my event, and I really want to add some Christmas music in here. So now what I do is I click on audio, and look at that. There's Jingle Bell Rock, and there's Let It Snow. So you get Jingle Bell Rock. You drag it right into place. And there it is. Okay. Now, right now, it's. So that's that's how you do it. I have to make some adjustments here, but that is how you do it. And to recap again, when you want to download a song. Go to Amazon Prime and go to music, digital music here. Then type in what you're looking for, click search. Do not open the web browser and then do it from here. When you open it, for example, you can go like this. Then you can click here. You can purchase the song, download it on your computer, but you can buy the song first. Then you can, after you buy the song, then you go back to your Amazon web player and when you click on music you're going to see purchase music then you're going to see it listed here and then of course you can click and it'll give you the download option okay now again i've spent a lot of time putting this video together if you appreciate it at all please give it a thumbs up if it helps you uh, i'm not a professional but i just spent so much time on doing this i really wanted to express this to people that are having trouble out there and hopefully it's helping you and has helped you. So thank you. Please give me the thumbs up.